The Small Business Show, episode 182, for Wednesday, August 1st, 2018. Greetings, folks, and welcome to The Small Business Show here at businessshow.co, the show that is by, for, and about small business owners. Here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And I'm Shannon Jean on the West Coast. I'm really happy to be here to talk today. Yeah, and fires are okay for yeah, you yeah. specifically? My, look, yeah. yeah, we are, uh, as I mentioned to you before the show, I, I own uh, some real estate up that we're developing up near uh, the largest fire, uh, which is up, up north. About it's, it's, it's about a four-hour drive when you can use the free... Freeway, but with the freeway closed due to the fire, it's about a six-hour drive. But my this valley that we live in that I'm looking at right now, out of my studio, is just we're just covered with smoke and yeah. uh, it's just hazy and, you know, and it's still that far away. So the, the, there's, there's a tremendous amount of fuel that all, all, a lot of reasons, but one of the main ones is there was about oh, 30, 40 million trees that died during the California drought. Right. And a lot of that stuff is out there ready to burn that has not been removed. And a lot, that's what we're seeing a lot of burning. And, th and this fire this up there called the Car Fire, C-A-R-R, uh, uh, interestingly enough, was started by a car. Uh, somebody had car trouble, pulled over into the weeds and and the heat <sighs> started right up. So, yeah, it's crazy. <sighs> um yeah, it's, it's, but you know, I, it's getting there. It's about 30% contained now okay. and, you know, hopefully we'll uh, continue to do it, but that's out here in the West when there's no rain, uh, you know, to speak of. And we have first, you know, in these kind of accidents, uh, lightning in, in the wilderness, that's what happens. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're okay. And I hope it, I hope it stays that way, man. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think, I think it's going to be great. So, so, uh, it, Go ahead. Well, I was, We're talk I, I about was just going to dive right into things <laughs> yeah, here. Let's do it. So let's we've do been it. called out on this show before by by several of you. Uh, for not sharing, you know, we talk about the, talk about the charmed life and we're always really positive and optimistic and sharing, you know, successes and the things that we can do to be successful and the things that we've done that we think make us successful. And we certainly acknowledge that we've made mistakes and uh, but but we've been called out for not sharing like the bad things that happen and part of well, that and, and, and i think yeah like maybe, maybe you're just gonna say this but part of it is we don't focus on those things we we've uh, kind of create our own reality by focusing on all this positive stuff correct um but it is, I think, a great time to jump back and talk about how sometimes the stuff hits the fan and yeah. uh, it's challenging. <laughs> it's, it's challenging, challenging. right? Well, yeah. and and the other part of the reason that I that that I don't wouldn't naturally bring things like this. Frankly, in fact, if in, if you folks hadn't asked, I don't think we'd be having this conversation on this episode today that we're about to have. But uh, because I don't want to like. I see no value and and we're not doing it today, so it's not going to happen. But uh, I see no value in in sitting and thinking or sharing the, the thought, poor me. Right. That doesn't that's unproductive. So that's why naturally and I think you feel the same way, Shannon, like you don't you don't think of yourself as, oh, Gosh, why do these terrible things happen to me? Even though sometimes terrible things happen, you, you know, and you just deal with it. Um, it, it that, that line of thinking is the wrong way to start when things happen that are challenging or unexpected or not great. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. I would, I would agree. And and you have to, in my experience, it's the minute it goes wrong, you, your thinking should already be okay. Uh, what are the next steps to get me to the other side? How do I right? fix this? Yeah. Correct. Yes, that's, yes. And, and yeah. that's all that happens. There's no, there's yeah. no time for poor me, but also there's like, there's no space for that either. 
Right. So, yeah. So it's with that in mind that uh, but also with your sort of requests and 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 acknowledgements, folks, uh, in mind that that I share that, you know, a, a week ago today, I I woke up, at, you know, and got to my desk and uh, and the uh, a sales guy, I'm not going to share his name, but but it's it's really not difficult to figure out who this is. You know, we, we run small businesses here and uh, and it's how it goes. And and and. I, I, there is no ill will. And I, hopefully, oh, hopefully you'll hear that, uh, through yeah. this story here, but, but a guy that's been with me for 14 years, uh, told me, uh, that he was, that he had gotten a job offer. This was a Tuesday that, that he, that he informed me that he'd gotten a job offer on, on a, on Friday, uh, out of the blue, he wasn't looking, he wasn't unhappy. Uh, and he got a job offer on Friday and he was going to take it. I was like, wow. Okay. Like, holy crap. You know, like yeah. that, that's the first, it was just, I was shocked. Tough. Yeah. Well, it, it is tough, but it was mm-hmm. also simply shocking. Right. And, and so, you know, the first thing, well, well let ahead. me ask you, let, let me, let me back up. A little. Yeah. Why was it, why was it so shocking as, as business owners, uh, if things happen to us all the time, mm-hmm. okay. Okay, <laughs> that's crazy. Let's figure it out. So when we have something like this happen, what is it inside of us that is so shocked that someone could do this, uh, which I don't want to say on a whim, but certainly sounds like pretty quick uh, yeah. action. What, what, what would you say? Why did it shock you? Uh, well, I mean, it, in that it was completely unexpected. He was and, yeah, and we yeah. were having. Uh, I mean, he's having the best month he's had in a long time, uh, um, like I many, see, many see. years. So it like we were so focused on like the how we were doing things and the future and, and all of this stuff that it was just like, whoa, this is not a conversation I expected. It wasn't even like we were in just like the general grind mode, like, oh, yep, it's another day and here sure. we go. You know, like there was there was a lot of forward thinking happening and all of that stuff. So it just it just came as a surprise. Now, yeah, yeah. It, you, you yeah. know, it, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Not a devastating surprise, but it, I mean, certainly unpleasant and and unexpected. And it, of course, changed my way of thinking about not just the, the future of that particular day, but, you know, certainly it, there's short term stuff and then to consider and then long term stuff. And um, so my first thought was, OK, why, you know, uh, like, can, yeah. can I can I ask why, <laughs> you know, like, what is it? And it, you know, is is the, and the, the, the questions as a business and this is not my first time experiencing this. It is my first time experiencing it with someone that's been with me quite that long. But I, I tend to have people that, that, you know, work with me for a very long time. So I have had people that have been with me for, you know, I don't know about over a decade, but certainly uh, a de- uh, you know, a, almost a decade that have, you know, decided to go on to other things. And uh, I mean, it happens. Sure. It's, oh, it's, it's how it's, it goes. Right. Yes, it, that's correct. So, y- you know, the first question is, wow, I, I really rely on this person. So uh, are you unhappy? You know, what is it? Are, is it about the money? Is it something else entirely? And and, you know, the real question that as, you know, a business owner or manager, whatever it is that that you're really thinking is, is this that? something that I can control at this stage. And, and then, and then sort of the very quick follow-up to that in your own head is, is this something I want to control? Is it smart to control this or do I need to just let this happen? Right. (laughs) You know, and, and, and so, you know, so I asked him some of those things and, and the best answer, and I, and like, I mean, he and I have, well, we've known each other a lot longer than 14 years. He's worked here for 14. Um, he actually did some writing for us with a completely different uh, venture several years before that. So I've known him for a long, very long time. Uh, and 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 his comment was, well, you know, um, as after I got the offer, I started thinking and, you know, people don't stay at companies 14 years these days. So it's time to move on. And I can't that I mean, that's his decision to make. Sure. Right. So, yep, uh, yep. It, you know, it's not up to me to judge that it, it, it's, it doesn't necessarily resonate with me, but I'm not in his shoes. So I can't, you know, that, that's yeah. okay. It's uh, that that's a valid reason because it is his reason. Okay, great. Fine. So yeah, it, 
I've I've had something similar like this happen. Uh, well, a, a number of times. I'm sure. Yeah, of course. And uh, it, to me, when I was a, a much younger business owner, uh, I, I had I had a hard time not taking it personally. And, you know, because you're you think you're creating this culture and, you know, probably back then I had much more of a Superman complex uh, than I have now. Right. Where you're, you know, everything and all that stuff. Business. Um, and I also found myself being angry. Huh. And, you know, you have to really be careful because. You know, sometimes it, it it kind of pisses you off. You're just like, what? You yeah, know, I mean, you may not course. say that to them, no. but but in the background, you're thinking, oh, right when I was doing this or rolling this new thing out, right when we were ready to do this new campaign or new product line or whatever it is, mm-hmm. you're gonna lose you're gonna lose a really important, uh, you know, gear, if you will, because I always use that gear analogy that business is a bunch of gears kind of working together yep. and you're going to have one popped out and it's going to kind of reverb- reverberate down uh, the thing. So, you know, over the years, I've had to grapple with this, um, not to take it personally, to understand that the level of loyalty of the employee to the employer is very different than maybe what the employee or employer expects. Yep. Certainly with a small business. Uh, and uh, even though you, you can't take it personally, you, you also have to keep, there's a part of you uh, that makes you successful, that part that you take things personally. So you can't totally wipe it out and become, you know, cold to the fact you can still get upset personally and be like, wow, I'm really going to miss you. Uh, I love working with you. And I think if you're, what, what helped me through a lot of that, those anger things and feeling upset that they weren't being loyal to me was to tell them that I'm really going to miss you hanging out with you, go, you know, miss all the stuff we've got done. But to your point, Dave, I'm happy that you're going to get another opportunity and, you know, certainly, you know, wish you the best and all this stuff. Now, how's it going to impact my business? All right. <laughs> yeah. No, and that, <laughs> right. and the, and the good news is that, that that is exactly how that conversation went. And, and he, he even felt the same way. So, you know, I mean, it's, yeah, you know, cool. we've worked together a long time. We're, we're friendly in, in that way. And in many ways, you know, it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to miss you. So, and, and, and we're both pretty self-aware people. So, so it was like, okay, we need to split this into two discussions. Like the, 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 the grief of the loss of this, this, not that we have to lose touch with each other, but, we will not be interacting daily, you know, that's right. Right. Yeah. Like, like that's just how that's going to work. And we need to accept that. And, and it's okay for us both to be sad about that. And that's okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. but, but then there's the business side and, and on that side, from his standpoint, if this is the right decision for him, then by all means go, yes. like that's great that's right. for you. Yes. Yeah. So you, you should celebrate when people, I, I always make comment to the other employees and all, we need to celebrate someone's leaving, going on to something else. They've been great it. while they're here. If they've been great while they're there, of course. You, yes. You know, no. And sometimes in, in you don't case, have that. Right. In yeah. this case, that's yeah. absolutely the case. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. so then, you know, you, it, like, so, so there's that process. And thankfully with this particular person and, and, and me and the way it worked, like that was able to happen in a very natural and overt way like th- there was nothing being swept under the rug here which was which was good y- you know so okay great no problem then the question then the question is okay what does this mean in the short term right y- you know when and as you said you know when you're a small company uh yes. regardless of what you hire someone to do every person winds up injecting their uh their personality but also their their skills into the business. Right. And, and so, yeah. you know, you, it's, it's very easy to say, okay, this person did sales. It's like, well, yes, that's true. But how did this person do that? And that's going to be different from how any other person does that and, and really helps define the culture and, and, and the, the capabilities of the company. So it's like, okay, what has he been doing? How, you know, what parts of that do I need to replace uh, in in terms of like functionally replace immediately? What parts do I never need to replace and what parts do I need to replace, you know, at, at some later date, but not like day one. And 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 as part of that thought process, and this is something, you know, really important for whenever someone leaves, 
uh, whether whether it's initiated by them or by you, and I have actually some comments about that, uh, is when do they leave? Right? Because here's the thing. Yeah. No one individually gets to decide that a person is going to stay right at the company in this scenario, right? Neither he nor I can decide that he will stay. The only decision that individually either one of us can make is that he will leave, right? He can choose to quit. I can choose to right. fire him or let him go. Right. But, but I, like if I choose, I want you to stay or he chooses, I want to stay, but, but we aren't both in agreement on that point. Then that does yeah, not doesn't happen. Work. Right. Yeah. So, so there's really only one decision each of us has control over. Right. And so the, the decision that you as the business owner have to, to have to make very quickly after it's made clear between the two of you that this person is no longer going to be in your employee at some point soon is, is that immediately? And, you know, when, uh, when I have had to let people go, either firing somebody or laying somebody off or whatever, generally speaking, I've decided that that needs to happen the moment that they are informed that that's going to happen. And the reason is, even if you have the most realistic and reasonable and trustworthy person, uh, everyone, you, they are going, they, they have been surprised by this at some level. Maybe they were expecting it, but didn't know when it was going to happen, or maybe they weren't expecting it at all. Right. Right. And, right. and now they're let go. Do you still give them the keys to your business, the ability to contact customers on your behalf or, or vendors on your behalf, whatever their job was, you know, uh, because in, there is a period of time where, where each person needs to process that this is going to happen. And, during that time, there's going to be a range of emotions, often a wide range. And even the most reasonable person, like, let's say you could guarantee that 24 hours later, that person was going to be in exactly the right headspace. OK, cool. But there's still 24 hours of that processing. <laughs> Do right, you want right. them is, you know, what's the risk to you as a business owner of having that person still on staff for some period of time. And you need to make that decision, it, you know, and that it's a individual yeah. scenario, but, but it is certainly something to think about. And if you're letting someone go, you need to make that decision before you have that conversation. My, yeah. And my take on this is, is very simple. The only, it, it, just think from a business perspective, mm -hmm. the only reason to keep someone around is if it, continues to benefit your business. That's it. If it does not, they should go. And it, and because there's too many chances for, uh, things to go sideways, in my opinion. Now, you know, if it's a long time employee like this and you need, you know, uh, you know, a, a, a small transition window for yep. training and this kind of thing. And, and again, you've handled it as the business owner is like, Hey, you know, Bob is leaving on to a new opportunity. We're really happy for him. That's also a great message for your other employees to see. It's like, Oh, you know what? If I ever go, this, this is a good place to be because even if I leave, they're going to be genuinely happy for me. Yes. And, and so I, I like that overall positive message. But uh, it, you really have to look at it. It's it's rare, in my opinion, that, that that person should be allowed to stay around, especially like you've got a virtual business, you know, yes. where people are, are spread out. But if you're coming into a building and everybody's working together, uh, you know, it's hard for certain types of people to not, you know, want to talk up their new position. Hey, totally. I'm getting, I'm getting a better job. I'm making more money. I'm getting X, I'm getting Y, uh, you know, and, and we had a time where, uh, a bunch of our technicians were getting, um, you know, kind of rated, if you will, by a large cable company that was hiring in the area. And they were specifically giving these guys extra bonuses if they brought people with them. Mm. And it was maddening. And, I, and until I figured that's, that out, that's I didn't know. almost I, I mean, it's not illegal, 
Uh, certainly for no, for them to do that, but it's a yeah. that's a great it's predatory for sure, right? It's, it's very predatory, Un- unconscionable. Yeah, yeah certainly, I, unconscionable you know. is the right word for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had to, you know, when people came and say, "Hey, I'm going to go work for X cable company that's this huge conglomerate, and and I'm going to make more money," I'm like, "Okay, great. You know, I'm happy for you." Da da da. Here's your stuff. Let's walk you out the door right Let's now. Go. Yeah, and uh, you know. It, that case, I think, is different, but I think m- more times than not, you need to kind of wi- wind things down quickly. Oh, I, but still, I agree. still keep it positive. You know, you, of course, you don't want to treat mistreat anybody. And and uh, you know, uh, like in California, we have surprisingly uh, this at will employment yep. is is the law of the land out here. Yep. And so you know, you can leave, the employee can leave, the employer can end the relationship for any time for without any, any notice yep. uh, for, for any legal, you have to tell them the reason. Say, you know, it's not working out. Yeah. Um, we're going to go ahead and let you go today. And here's your last check and we're going to walk you out. Um, so uh, I, I tend to lean towards that quick action is is better. Yeah. So. I, and, and, and that's always, I, that's my default as well. And so with yeah. this, it was like, okay, I need to process very quickly, like you said, you know, a, a benefit analysis of this, right? Yeah, What's yeah. the benefit to the business for him staying? And it became very obvious very quickly that having, you know, a short transition week, maybe week and a half period or whatever was was definitely to my benefit in, in this particular scenario with this particular person. And and that's. That's how that's the only way I can evaluate it. Right. Like sure. I, it has to be somebody that I trust, especially implicitly knowing that they're going to work somewhere else that could arguably call the competitor. Like how much. Right. And and as I explained to him, I said, look, here's the thing. You knew that you were leaving before I knew you were leaving. Right. You, you Obviously, you made the decision and then you informed me. So anything that and I don't think and I told him this, you know, anything that you were going to choose to take with you, a smart person would like collect all that stuff before right, telling right, them that right. you're going to leave. And I said, I don't I'm not I, I'm, I'm not I'm just telling you this in general. Like, I don't think you did this. In fact, I'm I I am certain you didn't, you know, and uh, and I and I said, so. I'm not really worried about you taking stuff, you know, whatever that might be uh, at this point. And yes, there is benefit in in me working through a transition with you and paying you for that transition. I said, there's some things that I'll actually have you do. Uh, You know, we very quickly transitioned all the active stuff over. And then it was like, okay, you know, here's some other things that that you can do that you understand here that can can help me uh, through this. And he had the time and he was happy to do it. And, and so, so in this particular scenario, we did do, you know, a slightly extended, um, transition period, but that is, I, I would say, you know, don't, don't rely on that being the norm in your small business. Uh, I would agree. Yeah. 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 yeah this is, and, and argue, I'm trying to think there was one guy that we had that was a writer here that got a job working at Apple. He was one of the very first Genius Bar employees, you know, a long time ago, like just as they were starting the Genius Bar. In fact, I think now I think he still works there and he goes around the country and like trains people to, you know, open up Genius Bars and that sort of thing. Cool. Yeah. And so with him, it was the same kind of thing. It was like, oh, we, we can like it, we trusted him. Uh, you know, it was the same sort of scenario. It was it was yeah. a, a mutual respect and trust. And so it was like, OK, cool. Yeah, we'll we'll transition with you. We don't need to you know cut you loose right away. And but most of the time you got to you have to assume that that's what's going to happen. Um, so, yeah. So and, uh, yeah. let me Go ask ahead. you a question, yeah. a, a question too, that I, that I wrote my notes after looking at your, your outline here. Yeah. Um, nowhere. Well, we haven't talked about this yet. Yeah. Uh, in, in a scenario where the person comes to you and I've got another offer and I'm going to go, uh, your thoughts and, and you might be surprised to know, I have some comments on this as well, uh, about, Trying to keep that person on, trying to match whatever offer they got, yep. uh, make it better and, you know, fight for them, if you will. Um, what, what, what's your take on that? Yeah. So I, I asked if if that's what he was coming to me for. Right. Because, again, yeah. y- you know, it like I can't make the decision for him to stay. I certainly could have. Even if I even if the company couldn't afford it, I could find some way to, you know, hail Mary and best, uh, you know, uh, another offer or something like that. 
but I don't want someone here that's not going to be here. And so we did. We talked about this. I said, all right, you know, it I, without sharing the particulars, it became sure. clear that, well, this other offer was for a little more money, maybe. Again, we're talking about a salesperson, so there's commissions involved and there's an existing book of business here and no business, at, at, you know, you got to start right, from right. scratch. So, uh, you know, is there more money in it, uh, in this uh, this other opportunity? Possibly, right? Okay. Sure. So, fine. And, and you know, reasonably, it's reasonable to assume that, yes, it, it could be built up to something where, yes, the, the, you know, there would possibly be more money. Great. And, but I, you know, I, it was, we had a very open conversation again, I'm not going to share the details about it, but uh, it was clear to both of us that money was not the driving force here, that it was long, it Like I said, it just kept coming back to longevity. And he even asked me, he's like, so did you have any, you know, great ideas about, you know, a different scenario for me to stay? And I said, well, are you saying that you would want to stay? Because if so, then it's worth having that conversation. But if not, then no, you know, it, it, yeah. and, and I, so I, I, I kind of turned it back around. I said, you know, are you saying, what would it take? Like, it has to come from you. Like I can right. agree or disagree or counter offer or whatever, but you need to put the offer on the table. You need to show that you want, you know, that you want to stay here. I said, it, it, if it's not obvious, I would like you to stay. And and the reason that I think it's obvious is I didn't let you go. Right. Yeah, <laughs> right. I like that. I like right. That, yeah. You know, you're the yeah. one that came and said, I'm leaving. Not I got an offer and I'd like to discuss it. You came and said, I'm leaving. OK, yeah. fine. Th like, I mean, I, again, I have to accept that. That's this, you know, <laughs> being a logical, reasonable person. That's the only that's the only option. Yeah. So, it, yeah, so yeah. that that conversation didn't happen, but we talked about having that conversation and it, it was obvious that it was not necessary. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I think you, you, uh, I would agree with you that, uh, more times, I mean, it's a rare occasion that things work out if you, uh, try to match or beat an offer. Um, because I think it's a, it's a signal to you yep. when an employee comes that, Oh, they want another challenge or they want to do something That's different. It. You know, it, that it took him less than three or, days to sort right. this out. So it's, yeah, that, yeah. like there's something there. Okay. That's right. It's not and, my job and, to get in the way of that. Yep. That's right. And, and so I think you're doing probably both of you, uh, your business and the employee a disservice by trying to, uh, you know, convince them and I've done it and I, you know, oh, yeah. it, it probably one of the, you know, the, mis the mistakes I've definitely done it trying to keep, Oh, how are we going to make it without this person? Right. Um, but right. now I after having done it a, a, a bunch of times, I would suggest that things always turn out better than you think they will when you lose a key employee. Yep. Always, always uh, you get certain people that step up that maybe never had an opportunity that, or that maybe surprise you. It's like, wow, I didn't know this person wanted to do this job or could, or had these, these skill set. Um, and, and people tend to, to step in to fill a, a vacuum or a void, if you will. Yep. Um, and you bring I, I in have other found people, that to be, so. to be universally true as well. Yep. It, like yep. it, in the moment, it, it may not be obvious that that's what's no, no, happen. it's usually not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but later, right. yeah. you know, but so, hey, and then I want to get to this point uh, that you okay. were talking about uh, change being an opportunity, because I think you hit some really, uh, you know, key points that we should share with our listeners. Uh, right. Well, then right. that's the sure we have time. Yeah, that's the next thing that you think about is, OK, this change is happening. OK, now how do I manage it? Right. Both from a logistical standpoint, like who's going to do the work that needs that still needs to be done. And also from a, you know, for lack of a better word, public relations standpoint, how is this going to be perceived by the employees that are still here, the customers that we have, the yeah, partners yeah. that we have, the vendors? And and frankly, you know, I had that thought coming into this podcast, too. Right. I have to assume sure. that anyone that's going to be impacted by this is going to listen to this because we're going to put it out for the public to hear. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, so I, I, you know, it was like, well, should I have this conversation? It's like, hey, you know what? We're transparent on this show. Uh, it, this is a very respectful thing that's going on here. Yeah, I can talk about this. And frankly, we'd be doing you, our listeners, a disservice if if we didn't. So it was like, yeah, OK, but but it is an opportunity, right? Y you know, um, it, it, and and it could be positive. It could be negative. You 
the, the, the thing about that is it is a hundred percent up to you as the business business owner, whether yeah, it sure. is positive or negative. And I have had it. It's been a long time and I, I am certain it won't happen in this particular scenario, but I've had it in the past where someone will leave and has some, you know, negative thoughts to share about working for us or with us or about us or whatever. And you know what? Those things if you if you handle it correctly, which is usually just don't engage in that particular conversation at all, uh, it, it's certainly not a bad thing. In fact, the best thing to do is to just move forward and 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 create the positivity that you want to create. And then it's a positive, you know, it's seen as like, it's okay. It's not, you know, you know it's certainly, I mean, in this case, that you've already heard me talking about him. There's nothing negative to say yeah. about this person. But even if there were- people like, Well, and people expect it. You know? Right, right. Yeah. People expect it. Oh, they want to hear yeah. the dirt. Yeah, guess what? You're hearing it all right here. There's no dirt. Yeah. You know? So, <laughs> like, so yeah. the way you present it, I think, is yeah. great. Because like you're, you're talking about it. Hey, this is a, a business lesson. Uh, this is what's going on. I really respect this person. We have great you know relationship and yeah. so all those and i'm gonna miss really, him. Yeah. yeah yeah all those authentic things i think boil down to the to the lesson is that you know be authentic with these people uh you know whether it's employee or a vendor you know who now okay what's happened now this person is gone who's taken my account what's going to happen like this kind of thing and it is all in the way it's presented yeah uh, it, it's a great opportunity to show your company in transition so that people don't get nervous. You got um, it. You, That's you know, you it. Never, yeah. You yeah. never want to be in a position where if, you know, one person leaves, the whole place is a house of cards and it falls apart. Right. And even if you, I mean, we, we've both lost business partners that seem to be critically key people and you're, you just, okay, now how do we, how do we keep moving on? Yep. Uh, and, and that's what you have to do and present it in a positive light. Um, talk to get out in front of it though. I, I think it's important to not wait for the customers, you know, or vendors or whatever the person's interacting with to ask, Hey, what happened to Bob? You know, uh, you can go, Oh, Hey, want to let you know, Yep. Bob moved on to another opportunity and uh, Jack is your new rep and let me introduce you. And he's great. And we're literally looking forward to yada, yada. It's actually a, a, another excuse to reach out to customers that maybe you haven't talked to in a while. Totally. Uh, and, yeah. and try to dr drive new business. So yep. it, it can very, no, it, it can, can be, be a, a positive. very positive thing. And, and in yeah. fact, you know, to his credit, that's one of the things that this guy is leaving said to me, he's like, you know, in the short term, He's like, you get to reach out to all these people that I would be a pest reaching out to again. Right, he's like, right. but here you go. And 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 during this transition, he was even like, look, here's the opportunities that I see here and here. Uh, good for you know, him. Make, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Him. No, like I said, it like couldn't yep. possibly be 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 handled in a better way. Yeah. And yeah. and I will, as I was putting this together, I came up with what I like to call a magic phrase that I will share here. People don't care about who left. They care about who is left. Right. Yeah, that's good. Right. Yep. So just bear that in mind as you're as you handle these sorts of things. It's not about, yeah, that person was great and they're no longer here. Great. Fine. People understand that change happens. In fact, it's way easier for them than it is for you as the business owner. So treat it like it's OK. And it's OK, you know, because yeah. it is. It's 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 how it goes. Yeah. 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 And, and I would also. Uh, you know, one last note that I had uh, written down after, you know, talking about this a little mm. bit was that it's really easy uh, to to fall into this kind of comfortable, uh, I don't want to use the word rut. It's not a rut, but it's your, if your comfort level is, uh, you know, such that the thought of, of an, a certain employee leaving is just devastating. It's probably time for that uh, employee to leave anyway. That's a good um, point. You know, it, it's, if you're, if you're too comfortable, it's just not great. And it, I mean, it's kind of management one on one, you know, as well, when you're talking about middle management, it's like, well, you don't want these guys to be too comfortable. You know, you have to keep them on edge. Well, you as a business owner, you need to be a little on edge too. Uh, so it, I think it, it comes back to that things usually turn out much better than you think when, when folks leave, uh, cause it, it forces you to kind of dive back in to reconnect, but maybe a little bit with, yep. with some of your customers, uh, to get involved in maybe training a new, uh, employee. So you, you get in touch with things and maybe, 
you know, that, that new blood that comes in. So it kind of pulls you out of your comfort level. Uh, you don't get to see the same face every day or talk to the same person and have the same routine, but I'm a, uh, I, I like routine as much as the next person, but sometimes it can be your enemy. No routine so, uh, is the enemy. No. Yeah, and that, that's yeah. for sure. True. Anytime, you know, I've had to, like you said, you dig in, you start kind of handling something yourself that you haven't handled in a while. It, it always works out better. Right. Because you've, you've so. had someone doing it in a way that's effective. So you already know what works. You don't have you're not reinventing the wheel or you're not inventing it from scratch. You get to go in and tweak a little bit yeah. in a way that, you know, when there's people involved, it's hard to tell people, especially someone that's been doing, a, the, you know, a job for a while. As I said, you know, they infuse their own personality. They they have some ownership over it. And that's a good thing. You want people to feel empowered and owning their their jobs. But that also means that if you have an idea, you know, you you can go in and, and micromanage everything. But sure. it's not going to be all that effective if you do that all the time. But here's an opportunity. You know, we're all a little bit control freaks if we're running businesses. So you get to go in, you get to retweak without yeah. upsetting anyone. So yeah, there no, you go. I like it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I want to talk. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. No. Yeah. Well, I was going to just say is we certainly would like to hear, you know, our, our listener stories and yeah. what's happened and either from an employer or even an employee uh, perspective, what worked well for you, what didn't uh, feedback at business show.co or come up and, and chat with us in the uh, small business support group at business show.co slash Facebook. That'll redirect, redirect you over there. We would love to hear your story. I, I want to talk about the concept of loyalty before we leave here today, because it's an interesting thing. I, 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 I would assume anyone listening to this by now would, uh, would join me in calling this person that, that's left extremely loyal. And he really is like, I couldn't possibly think about an employee that that's, that's more that, you know, I couldn't, I yeah. couldn't, I couldn't oh, yeah. come up with a way of having an employee that's more loyal. Right. It, it just sure. doesn't, it doesn't exist. Uh, and I'm grateful for having, having had the, the opportunity to work with him and all of that stuff. But, you know, loyalty is not a binary thing, nor is it defined the same way by you as an employer, uh, as it would be by someone who is your employee. And and you and it's really important to remember that there are going to be those occasions, uh, you know, all we've talked about this before. We 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 don't dig into it because, again, not poor me. But there are those times when, you know, cash flow is tight or whatever you as the business owner choose to, you know, forego a, a paycheck for yourself so that your employees can get paid and all those things. And hopefully those things don't happen all the time. But I mean, it's normal for those things to happen occasionally. You know, cash flow is what it is. And you've got right. payroll that that doesn't necessarily operate the same as your cash flow does sometimes. And and that's OK. And that is an example of being loyal to your employees. But you have to remember, first of all, your employees have no idea that that happened, even yep. if they know that it probably has happened. It, you know, if they can guess that at some point over X number of years, that might have happened a few times. Like it's not their responsibility to care about that. And and you can't, it, you know, back to your comment about taking it personally, you can't like this is one of those things that you just can't take personally. It's like you have to right. evaluate that that loyalty from an employee standpoint from their standpoint. You can't apply your views to how other people are going to see things. Otherwise, otherwise you will wind up taking things personally and it's a disaster. So, it, you know, loyalty, yeah. it, it, certainly in this scenario, loyalty exists, um, but you can't expect it to be. Uh, there, there's no equality in loyalty, if that makes sense. Yeah, the things the things that you think they should be loyal to you for, often they have no idea. They don't like even know they exist. They they, yeah. they don't know they don't know what they don't know. So you can't. Uh, and I've fallen into this trap over and, and over, where you're like, oh, you know, I've done all this kind of stuff. And if you think about it, all the things that you've done, are they even aware of it? Right. So you you can't ha you're having this internal conversation uh, about <laughs> why they should really be loyal to you. And it's like, well, wait a minute. 
they don't they don't, they don't know, know. This. they don't you can't blame they don't them know for this. Yeah, right. you can't do it you no, can't do it and, I, yeah that, and that's where i i mean i you know i i very quickly dismissed the thought but i had this thing where it was like three days is all it took man if three days was all it was took for me <laughs> like this wouldn't uh, but yeah. that's not you can't like you can't even walk no. down i mean as i'm as i'm even describing the internal conversation i'm stopping because that's how long that took it was like nope this is not wrong line of questioning, Dave. You can't have this yeah. conversation with yourself. It's irrelevant. Uh, get over it. It's like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah get no, over it. Right, agree. moving on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you got it. And, that, and that's the secret, you know, to keep moving on. It's, you know, to me, I, I always make this comment to my kids. You know what solves problems? A symphony of action. You just keep taking, ac- you know, being active, trying new things. If that doesn't work, try this. If, you know, A didn't work, go to B. And just, you you move, you take steps. Uh, uh, and you cannot sit back and and be inside your head and overthink things. You have to just keep moving just forward. Keep moving. What was it? Yeah, I, you yeah. know, as one of my favorite um, quotes comes from Duke Ellington, the jazz musician, and uh, he said, um, it, "It's so, it's sort of in this in this realm here." He said, "I don't need time. I need a deadline." Oh, I like that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> because we, we all do, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. And this is like, okay. Uh, like, I, I mean, this, uh, you know, a, a, a brand new deadline that I didn't even know was going to exist, it all of a sudden existed. It was like, well, okay, there you go. Yeah. Perfect. That's what got 182 episodes of the Small Business Show. You got it. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you just kind of wall it around and said, oh, we should do this and try it. And we'll, once in a while, we'll touch base. And yep. I can remember the first conversation that we had about this. You said the most important thing is consistency. That's it. And if we're nothing, if not consistent, right? Yeah, that's it. That's what we're doing, <laughs> man. Yep. Awesome. Thanks that's folks good talk. for listening. Yeah, I, I I hope this came across the right way. I really think it did. Otherwise, we wouldn't I have think released so. it. Yeah, but uh, but thanks for listening. And uh, hopefully, I mean, the whole point of this was to share the experience in a way, essentially what you folks have requested. Like, how do we process through, you know, I, I can't even call this like a... a a, a negative thing, right? It's just, how do you process yeah. surprises? There you go. That's right. There that's you go. That's it. Yeah, yep. that's it. So, yep. Thanks for listening. Uh, as Shannon yeah. said, find us feedback at businessshow.co. We would love to, uh, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, I think from there, we'll, uh, we'll see you next week because it's what we'll we do. See you next we got week. a deadline. You got it. Yep. <laughs> Take it easy, folks. Take it easy. Keep living that charm life. 